Britannia. Whenever they're ready. Mark is the head. Okay. He is the. He is a founder. I am just a Johnny follow along. He recruited me, so he's like the boss. Okay. The boss. The, the, the boss. The boss of bosses. <laughs> okay, Britannia, what do you got here? I am ready to go. You just do your thing. <laughs> uh, okay. Jiggy Jag TV, uh, we are at the, well, we, we are outside of the Red Shed. We are in Merle's house, and I have got a fantastic group with us. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mark Peden, and I'm, I play Ray Manzarek in Mr. Mojo Rising. Hi, Colby Earlywine, I play John Dinsmore. Dave Staley, I play Robbie Krieger, guitar player. And, come on in here, brother. Kellen Potter, I'm uh, Jim. So we are we are hanging out while you guys are playing pool. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so tell me a little bit about what we're gonna see this evening. I'll see. Well, you're gonna see uh, all your favorite Doors songs and uh, maybe some you don't hear very often. That's awesome. So. How did all this come together? Because you're, you're, I'm always being told you're the brains of this whole thing. Well, I'm, I'm not the brains, but I, I guess I, I've, um, so actually Kellen and I were in a band together, uh, a Doors band called Blue Sunday, probably about 10 years ago. or So, so that was really the start. Um, and uh, we, we actually broke up, but ended up coming back together as Mr. Mojo Ryzen the last That's few awesome. years and in Kansas City area. And, um, and just really started out, out of a love for the Doors music and, and the Doors and, you know, the, I, I'm quite a bit older than he is, but even at my age, I could have never seen the Doors. I mean, they were, yeah. they, Jim was dead by the time I was listening to music in high school and. Allegedly. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, well, that's what we think, but uh, yeah. So, so I saw, and one of the first bands I ever saw was uh, a band called Strange Days. It was a Doors tribute and it was, it was awesome. I mean, it was a that's big great. experience. So. So it's just really about, I think the band's really just about, you know, bringing the music of the Doors to, to people who want to enjoy it live, you know, who can't anymore because it's a band that's that's yeah. not around. So, yeah, so that's really, you know, that's really what we're about. And we've, I think we've we've been together, like I said, he and I about 10 years and then the, this group that you see now probably about three or four years, right, or yeah. kind of as, as units. So, so how, how did you end up in? I met Mark in another band. He called me up and says, hey, I need a guitar player. And I, I listened to the best of Doors. I thought, you know, I don't know it. I'm not sure. <laughs> Calls back again, says, man, I really need a guitar player. I said, okay, send me the CD. Actually, we had a gig that paid pretty well. So that, yeah, we're going to get that money. Send me the CD. I'm going to learn it. And it's, I've been doing it ever since. Love it. So uh, who's winning here? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's kind of a free form <laughs> game. Free form. Yeah, it's just whoever. <laughs> So, uh, doing the whole Jim Morrison thing, talk to me a little bit about that. Um, basically, you know, just kind of got to get into the role. It's like a part you play, and um, I I just kind of look like him a little bit, and so <laughs> if I put on some pants and sing the songs, yeah. 
you know, people can believe they were right back at a live show back in the day. I mean, I've talked to some fans who were at shows and who saw Jim Morrison live with the Doors. Um, and, you know, people give me enough, like, positive feedback that I want to keep doing it. Nobody ever says we suck, so. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. And we have a lot of fun doing it, so. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, how did you end up in there? Oh, I got lucky, and um, one of the guys that... Uh, the manager that books a lot of gigs for us. Um, yeah. I played a, a few gigs with him, and he recommended me to try out for the band. So, yeah, I got got lucky with that. <laughs> so, uh, I guess my, the, the thing that I would love to know is, uh, and I'll go around the room and have you guys tell me, what 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 is your favorite Doors tune or favorite part about being in the band? Um. I'd probably have to pick L.A. Woman. Um, my favorite thing about this band is uh, The Doors was one of my favorite groups my freshman year of high school, which is yeah. the year that I got a drum kit. So it was kind of the first tunes That's that awesome. I was like learning. So, yeah, it kind of came full cir circle for me to play with these guys for sure. That's awesome. Okay, so favorite uh, Doors song and favorite part about being in the band? Um, I mean, I have a lot of fun doing most of them. But it's really nice to be able to pick obscure ones to try and the ones that were really fun that we don't do very often that I I like Queen of the Highway personally. Awesome. Um, it's fun to sing, fun to play. It's one of the more challenging ones, so we don't do it quite as much, you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, every now and then we'll pull it back from the dead. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, so give, give, give me your favorite Doors it, tune. Yeah, so do. for me, it's got to be Light My Fire, because, I mean, I think um, that solo is unlike anything, I mean, at the time you would have heard on the radio, and it, it's so it's so much alive. I mean, it sounds like, and I think they were playing live in the studio, and they play it different every time, and what I love about playing in the band is there are songs that they never did the same. Light My Fire is one of them, and then they just have cues that they pass off, like there's something at the end of the organ solo there's something in the end of the guitar solo um and then so there's always a cue that tells you to go to the next part and everybody's kind of free to do their thing so i, I love it yeah it's great that's great so what what, what is what is uh assembling this this collection uh there is a ton of doors music to do how do you guys go through and... yeah i mean i think yeah there's probably there's probably about you know an hour to 90 minutes that you know, you got to do that. And so that that's a pretty, pretty straight shot. And then the rest of it, it's really just, you know, what we like, what people like. And, and I think at this point, at however many years we've been together, several years, we, I think we've done almost, almost everything, probably 90% of the songs we could, we could do, you know, may, maybe with a brush up. So, but yeah, I think it's more just, it, you know, what's, what's fun to do after, yeah. once you go in those deep cuts and, That's and, awesome. and I think they're all fun, but I mean, so, so it's hard, it does get hard to choose. Yeah. Okay. Favorite Doors tune to do? Anyone with a guitar solo. Yeah. <laughs> what? There you go. <laughs> Anything with a guitar solo. Which honestly is most of them. So I, <laughs> like I'm, I'm a seventies classic rocker. So, you know, every song had a guitar solo, right? It was like opening riff. Blah blah blah, some sort of vague lyrics, uh, guitar solo. Some blah, sort blah, of vague lyrics. It's like as a guitar player, so it's like, I mean, it's just like, you know, Robbie says, oh, I'm just gonna play a solo for the whole five minute song. It's like this is awesome. <laughs> so, so actually, I mean, like, Roadhouse Blues, five to one. Then when the music's over, you mean name it. I mean, it's just like, you know, no one wants to hear a guitar player for five minutes except in a Doors band. It's like That's right. this is awesome. That's so. Awesome. But, and the band, I mean, these guys are just great musicians, so it's a lot of fun. And like Mark said, I mean, we don't play everything just, it's not formulaic, like, you know, a yes. lot of the pop tunes coming out now. It's like, Kellen just starts reciting different lyrics from different songs in the middle of the song. Like, I'm not sure where he's going. We're just going to follow along. Or just... Okay, so something else that I noticed is you guys have, which is fantastic, you have your own, like, official, like, Doors perv magnet over here. Who, who, who is she? <laughs> and 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 how how did she end up in the group? What 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 what's her story? Why don't you come I on in here? Come on in here. 
Anytime I see a perv magnet, I've got to talk to him. And if it, and, and you're like an official door. I, I'm just curious. Are you flirting with me? No. <laughs> okay. Me. No. Um, my name is Jordan. I'm Kellen's girlfriend, and I've been hanging out with this group for about um, almost five years now, and I have not missed. Um, oh, oh, only missed maybe a couple of shows. And so you're like a, a, a dancer on stage. Uh, yeah, what's, I mean, what's, what's I the... I find it hard not to groove and not to not to move around to the music. And you know, I come to every show um, like with the gimmick. same. This isn't like, a gimmick. You gotta be part of the stage. Yeah, show. I, this whole group, you know, <laughs> they've really enveloped um, their individual <laughs> parts, and I don't feel like yes. they're characters. You know, we we dig it, and we like the doors, and we we come up and we make music, and people dance, and I get the crowd, you know. Grooving too, I so I yeah. I right. mean, a little side boob helps, you know, but <laughs> <laughs> it's true. But I have a good time, and I mean, I'll can continue to come to shows and travel wherever they go. I mean, we've went to Sea World, we've went all over, and Sea World. Yeah. That that yeah. would have been a tr in these outfits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been, yeah. It's yeah. it's pretty. It's a good time. It yeah, yeah, it's it's <laughs> great. Um, but I love the poetry. I like the, the you know the psychedelic um, era. I think it was it was fun and flamboyant and exciting and um, and we bring that all back every time we That's do a show. Awesome. So That's yeah, awesome. for sure. Okay, so before we let you guys go, how do we get in touch with you guys on the web and book you for shows and all that? So we're on uh, MrMojoTribute.com and then also on Facebook as Mr. Mojo Tribute. Fantastic. So. Well, this has been an amazing. Mr. Mojo Ryzen, this has been a fantastic interview. And uh, thanks for doing this, guys. Thanks. And lady. Thanks for, thanks for doing this. And uh, thanks to the world-famous Bob Hunter for the photos and the lovely and talented Britannia behind the camera. And thanks for watching, Jiggy Jag TV. Yeah.